Hey guys, welcome back to Javon Rule 16. I am your host Javon, and today we're about for a brand new benchmark. Today we're testing out MX vs. ATV Legends for the PC. Today I'm running this on my Intel Core i3-7100U with the Intel HD 620 integrated graphics. We're running with 16GB of DDR3 RAM in dual channel memory mode. And right off the bat, I'm using a custom configuration because playing at the lowest, which the lowest screen percentage could have gone 33% of 720p, that got me around 20 FPS. I actually had to go into the config file to make a configuration for that. Yes, it will be in the description down below for those of you who would like to play this game. So you'll simply need to copy and paste it, but I will do a video showing you exactly how to do so. But anyway, running at 960 by 540 with 40% resolution scaling. And hey, on the low settings, and hey, we're managing to get 30 FPS. I've disabled shadows completely. As you can see, just to get the game to play, Shadows is completely gone. And we're using 7 gigs of RAM. This is a really good config here. Once again, listen, we found a way to get it to run, guys, okay? Anything, eh? Calm down. The trail. So I am. The trail is tight there. Lean into your tongues. It's really interesting. Um The CPU usage isn't an issue with this game. Um, so this is a very GPU intensive, which I like to be honest with you, because I could have done so much with it to get it running. But once again, it really makes you understand, you know? Whenever you fall off your bike, you need to get back on. Let's practice some jumps. Give it full throttle down the hill. Make sure you're landing level with the ground. Slightly on your rear wheel going uphill, or on your front wheel when you're coming down a ramp. Hey, I think old man Rollins sees you. For whatever reason though, this is running at over 30 FPS. We can live with this. And like I said, we can go lower, but with shadows disabled, it, this game looks terrible. <laughs> but you're gonna need it. Honestly, you can't play this with shadows on. You just can't. You just can't. It's unfortunate, but that's just how it is. It's very intensive. So the shadows had to go. The show just had to go, but once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. The shadows had to go, man. They just had to go. We, I've tried to find ways to get games running on the channel. We, f it just came out today. Obviously, it's going to be demanding. We got it running. Hey, I saw you riding in the hills. Is that TJ out there? You and him are always welcome here on the farm. I told him a while back that you two are welcome to use the barn for working on your bike if you want. It's been quiet around here lately, and uh, I wouldn't mind the sounds of an engine roaring around the track again. Feel free to ride around and take a look at the farm. Okay. I guess I will. But I won't like it. Okay. Well, that was a thing. Hey, Rollins said I could sit up here in the barn. Talk to him if you haven't already. Oh, it might be fun to hang out here for a while. Oh, we could get in some laps on his national track right out here on the other side of the barn, huh? You crazy. Dude, I've completely made this playable. It's crazy. It's not even dropping below 30 FPS. This is awesome. It's always nice when you can make a game run like this on integrated graphics, dude. I mean, the Intel Z620 is getting up in the years, but it still runs. This can run without... Look at this. Look at this. No matter how wide the area shot is, it doesn't drop below 30 FPS. This is stuff dreams are made of, dude. 
But once again, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. It does take me some time to make these types of videos, man. Oh, we're dropping below now. It's like, nah, bro, how dare you say that? You feel like this would run. It ain't, Holmes. It's running really well, though. But at what cost? And how am I going to get it to run any better on the Intel AC4600 without making it look... Oh, my gosh. Imagine how it's going to look with at that point. Bruh. But I'll see you guys next time. I'm just going to mute myself now. Like I said, we're only using about 7 gigs of RAM. So if somebody with 8 gigs could squeeze it out. It may have struggled though, but I would recommend dual channel RAM. Definitely would recommend the 8 dual channel to get this here playable. Anything lower than that, single, it will cause a lot of stutter. But that's what Disabling Shadow does. But I'll see you guys next time.